Is this how you repay my trust? Right. By destroying the temple? By defiling my memorial? There's work still to be done. Why have you abandoned your mission? I was told... Traitor! Your soul will never enter the great hereafter! No! End this sacrilege now. And I may be lenient. Not now. Right now! I've been waiting a long time for this. Now get up! Okay, slime ball, have it your way. Lexi doesn't even know what's happening. Don't you see that? Who gives a stuff? I do. Feral fight's one thing, but not this. You're a dead man. Way to go, Ned. You weren't too bad yourself. Brady, she should be here for this. Bliss, my baby, would you fetch her from the rebel base for me? Let's go. To where? Anywhere, away from here. Come on, move. Hey, I'm so proud of you. Allie, I know what you're trying to say, but... But nothing. You have to make a run for it now. There's no point. There's every point. Look, look, I'm looking for you. And if they find you... No, you don't understand. I couldn't leave without you. I, I don't even know if I could live without you. That's stupid. Look, j just go for a while until things have settled down a bit. And no. And then later it might be safer to come back. P people won't be as angry. Allie, I can't just disappear. Don't you see? I was responsible for a lot of what happened. And I should pay for that. With your life? Go, Luke, don't be crazy. If you came with me, then maybe. Look, I care about you, Luke. I, I really do. But right now, I can't leave my family. Not like this, not in secret. It wouldn't feel right. Then why ask me to? Hey, uh, hey guys, uh, can you call it a moment? Uh, I'd just like to say something. Ray! 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 Uh, 
Today's the day I, we sometimes thought would never come. But it finally did. And you are all magnificent. And uh, I'd especially like to thank KC for this. And Alice, and, and your friend there. Ned, his name's Ned. <laughs> Go Ned! We deserve this. We worked for it. And we, uh, we lost friends fighting for it. They gave everything they had to make this all possible. So uh, let's make it one to remember. <laughs> Doing anything right now? <laughs> the stuff I heard you saying to the Guardian when we were broken. You and him being together and him not being alone anymore? Yeah. It's not the kind of stuff a guy likes to hear his wife say. But you understand why I had to say it? I guess. You guess? You went pretty deep with that guy, Tyson. I'll probably never know how deep. Do I look like I'd rather be somewhere else right now? Madness out there, but who can blame them? Bray? Hey, what is it? Mine's not coming back, is he? No, Bray, he isn't. Not ever. You know, with all the soup business, well. <laughs> It was always as though he was around, you know, somewhere. But being him today, wearing this jacket, d destroying the myth, it's like nailing the lid on his coffin. Not that he ever had one. God, I, I didn't even give him a proper burial. Burials for ordinary people. We set him off in style. Say something. Good night, Martin. I suppose we did. You know, he wasn't the monster everybody thought he was, you know? The Guardian destroyed his image. I think history will show that. Everybody knew him as Zoot. Zoot. <laughs> My brother, Zoot. He was just Martin to me. I miss him. I need a word. I'll give you one. Knock. It's polite. Any chance either of you will be arranging supervision on the Guardian? Look, Emily, he's not going to escape the cage. I'm more worried about someone getting in. In? <laughs> Wake up, Bray. The world wants him dead. Oh, and you think somebody will try to assassinate him? Sugar, I would do it myself. But I want to see him suffer first. And if somebody gets to him before the trial, well, what will I do for laughs? Power and chaos. Power and chaos! You ain't got no more power and chaos. Power and chaos! Get out of here now! Just having some fun. You imbecile! Imbo what? Get out of here. One, two. You're a loony too. Oh, 
It's all right. It's all right. We're together, you and I. You don't have to be alone anymore. It's all right. You know, you'd be amazed how many people miss and miss, miss and miss it. Get the wrong idea about me? Think I'm uncouth. But I'm not. I'm couth. And quite sensitive. Hey, Ned, give her a kiss. Get lost. <laughs> <clears throat> like I was saying. What was I saying? I don't care. It's, it's just nice to be talking to you instead of shouting. Yeah. You seen Ty stand anywhere? She's over there with the loony. Have you, uh, noticed how noisy it is around here? No anywhere quieter. <laughs> Tessa? What are you doing? He's hurt and upset. He's what? Why are you doing this? It's over. He's finished. He needs somebody. Great. But not my wife. He knows me. Well, that doesn't surprise me. You spent more time with him than you have with me. I'm only doing what I'd do for anybody. Yeah. I'm beginning to realize that. He needs attention? I'll give him some. Oh, no, Lex, no. Lex, don't! Lex, no, please don't. No! Lex, no! What have you done? Oh, quit complaining. Hey, come on, give us a hand. Let's get him out of here. He'll be out for a while, but he'll live. I suppose I ought to thank you. Don't bother. Everyone wants a piece of that guy, including me. Well, why should Lex get all the pleasure? Excuse the mess. Make yourself at home. Can't seem to get the staff. <laughs> Cozy. And all the privacy we want. Very homely. You know the first thing I noticed about you? What? Your smile. Yeah? Yeah. It was kind of smiley. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Empty. Back in a moment. <laughs> You're asking me to do something which is, well, just alien to me. But, but if it takes your life. Have you thought of what kind of life I would have? Look, don't be so wholesome. I don't know any other way to be. Not since I met you. Can you begin to see the effect you've had on me? Yeah, it's a pity I never inspired a sense of survival. Now wise up, go while you can. If I run, I'll have to keep on running. I'll be a hunted man. But a live one. In the end, I wouldn't be able to live with what I've done. No, in time... Worst you... of all, I'd be without you. Luke. The alternative is to stay and face what I've done and take the punishment. Even if that means death. It'd be better than being on my own with nothing to do but think. Ebony did. Ebony? What for? To save you from wasting the Guardian. I wasn't going to waste him. It's too easy. 
What's Ebony's interest in keeping that creep alive anyhow? Not much better than yours, actually. Bray should know how he's being treated. Oh, so you can arrange a feather bed and video games? We debase ourselves by taking advantage of his condition and of his helplessness. That's where we differ. As far as I'm concerned, he deserves everything he gets. Oh, that's inhuman. He's inhuman. In fact, he's a monster. Not inside. I've seen into his inner self and... Uh, don't tell me. He's this really nice guy just trying to get out. No, but he could be drawn out. I'm not making this up, Lex. I got really close to doing it. He almost made the transition. But decided to go for petrol drums prime with dynamite instead. Oh, it's impossible to reason with you. Look, babe, you know me. I get hurt, I gotta hurt back. But hey, I'm not alone on this. The whole city out there wants this guy for what he did to them and their friends. What's your point, Lex? The point is, how can anybody feel sorry for someone who did what he did to people who had no means of defending themselves? Lex, not half an hour ago, you were trying to tear his head off. Don't exaggerate. You were trying to humiliate and injure a man with no means of defending himself. So, what makes you any better than him? Yeah. Tally, what's the hurry? I think you'd better come. Come where? Why? <laughs> Have you found Celine? Where is she? On the roof of the car park, and I think she's about to jump. What? Tally, uh, take Brady, find May or Amber and tell them what you told me, okay? Bray! Celine, she's on the roof! Come quickly! got your job now. Supreme Mother. Did you know that? Yeah. What are you doing up here? Waiting? For what? I don't know. Don't you think it'd be better if you... I saw Zoot today. Except it wasn't Zoot. It was Bray. And I was so looking forward to seeing Zoo. I, I thought, Zoo won't leave me. He's the only one who won't leave me. Celine, you are not on your own. You've got friends. And when I saw Bray dressed like Zoo, I knew he wasn't coming. Tysan's got your job now. Did you know that? Yes, I know that. And you don't mind? No. I don't mind. Listen, Celine. Bray is here. Would you like to speak to him? Bray? No, I don't want to speak to Bray. He was one of the first ones to leave me. A toast. To us. To us. And knocking holes through walls. To knocking holes through walls. And getting out of this place. <laughs> Amen. But not right this minute, right? <laughs> May I say how beautiful your eyes look tonight? It's lunchtime. May I say how beautiful your eyes look this lunchtime? May. Alice, your eyes this lunchtime look very beautiful. Thank you, Ned. And so toast to us, to knocking holes in walls. What was the other one? Getting out of here. To getting out of here. And your eyes. What are you doing here? Go away! 
You, you don't love me. How could you? Nobody loves me. Take it easy, Celine. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going, OK? Celine, listen to me. I'm listening. Do you remember when we were just all mall rats together living here at the mall? Of course I do. I think I'm stupid or something. No. No, of course not. We had some good times, didn't we? Looking out for each other. I try not to remember. It hurts too much. Because of what happened today, we can be like that again. All of us? Yes. Even Ryan? We'll try and find Ryan. Find Ryan? Yeah. No. No, no, I don't think so. It's best this way. Best for everyone. <laughs> Tally. Just fine. Whatever you're thinking, Lex, forget it. You won't be able to protect him forever. He'll give us coming to him. Amber, wake up. Wake up.